go. She told her husband, pack your bags and... And then, um, sitting real close to. Apparently her idea of retail therapy is buying multiple houses. gathered here today to honor the life of Marco Moretti. He was a caring father, a loyal husband, and Montevista's most notorious thief. He is survived by his sole remaining heir, Valentina Moretti. May his memory live on. Well, the Morettis have gathered at our little chapel to mourn the loss of Marco who died the one day I decided to play off camera. He was the last remaining fourth gen, he was a master thief, so we're here, he's dead, folks are sad as you can see. So yeah, I feel like we've been ignoring Miss Valentina. So Valentina's actually going to go do something that we have not done yet in this legacy. She's going to go visit the fortune teller. I think she's sort of feeling like her life is just a big mess. She's confused. She doesn't know what's going on. So she's looking for some advice. So we're going to see what the fortune teller says. I don't even know if I've ever done this, honestly. Do you all believe in like psychics and fortune tellers and stuff? I think I went to a psychic two times. One of them was not really much but the other one i visited oh my god she was saying things that there's no way she could have known should the fortune teller continue to gather information or form a prediction now and then oh we've got all kinds of dark real fast it says star charts are spread over the table let's donate 20. look at this nighttime sky speaking of constellations i don't know what this is do i just keep donating <laughs> but some people swear by it Please call and donate. I'm scared. I'm nervous. What's this fortune teller going to say? A miniature maelstrom of spiritual energy swirl. Okay, adjectives. Continue. Let's go. Valentina's like, I'll donate my family's entire fortune, honey. Wait, is that it? But things should get better in about a week, so don't worry too much. What the hell does that mean? Is that all we got? Just some words of encouragement? Total believer. Wow, that fortune teller knew everything. What a relief. Nothing to do now but sit back and surrender to the inescapable hands of fate. Plus 40 mood. Whoa. Well, I guess Valentina's back at the house. Claudio just got promoted to a world-renowned surgeon. He's at the top, y'all. However, he still is working on his science skill, so he's not completed his lifetime wish yet. Okay, good morning, folks. First thing I want to show you is actually some changes I made to the house. I know this house just keeps on growing. These are some horny-ass gnomes. They keep having these little baby ones. But anyway, as you can see, I've added a balcony back here. We do have these balconies over here in the front but we don't really use these at all so yes going through changes out here miss camilla's in here taking care of her daughter alessandra who she gave birth to in the last episode and i do have an update with camilla as you saw shen was not at the funeral last night and that's because camilla and shen have decided to separate at least for the time being as you can see camilla still has the mood lit in the last episode she was apparently cheated on by shen i still have not found out who the hell shen was sleeping with or flirting with or whatever it was but camilla is not okay with it she's not happy about it and she said shen pack your bags in we just need some time apart to think over things and figure out what exactly we're doing i just had a child and it doesn't feel good to know that you cheated on me so where is shen he's actually up here i knew our second house would come in handy this is the moretti townhouse up here in the city center and this is where shen is where you at man i think he's in here yeah, crying over Marco's death. I did change up Shen's appearance. I like his hair short like this. So he spent last night and maybe the night before up here just hanging out. This is the second house we bought last season that we didn't really use. It was just sitting empty. But Shen's up here doing his thing, it looks like. So enjoy yourself, Shen. We'll leave you be. <laughs> 
And I don't know, maybe in a day or two, we'll bring Shen back to the house and see if he and Camilla can get along or have some semblance of a normal relationship. I mean, they just got married, <laughs> you know? This is a very nice life for him. Not that that means he can't be unhappy or make mistakes, but Camilla has sacrificed a lot too. She is taking care of this baby by herself, along with her uh, seven family members. But we'll see if we can test it out. The relationship is uh, a bit in the red. It's not very good. They were arguing and crap in that day I played off camera. It was not good. Her relationship with Caravaggio, also a bit rough. Who do you like? <laughs> she loves the maids and she likes that guy from China. So moving on to Big V. I mentioned, I think she's going to experience her arc in this episode. I'm so excited about that. And in the last episode, she met that guy, Jamal, and he came over. They seem to hit it off. He's not like the best prospect because he's unemployed and he's also quite a bit younger than she is. He invited us to a party last night we couldn't go because of the funeral so i actually want to go visit jamal who i think is this his house whirly oh my god is he loaded because this house up here is maybe the biggest house in monta vista it's gigantic it's brawling so does he live up here all by himself it says no one's home so we can't visit him yet Zile Kwok Wang. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Zile Kwok Wang wants to chat with Camilla. That's that guy. And also, Valentina has received an invitation oh, to Ginger yeah. Lusk's party. What an interesting name. Casual attire, Sunday at 6. I'll be there. And Resort Profits. Yes. Let's get this one too. Very nice. 216,000 and investments are coming tomorrow so things are looking good we need to uh keep buying up properties i guess actually let's just do that today let's become a partner over here at the fortune teller and then why don't we buy the library 180,000 why the heck not oh my god i love valentina the coward she's scared to go down the slide that was cute. Valentina's gonna head off, go do some investing. Yes, Gabriella up here. I would like to complete some lifetime wishes today. We're pretty close to Gabriella completing hers. She needs to use eight more elixirs. And one thing I would like to do just to prepare in case Valentina does end up getting with that guy who's a fairy. I do not want to add a fairy to this household. And my reasoning for that is because don't they live forever? I don't want some random guy I don't even know. I have no attachments to to be living forever with the Moretti's. Okay, maids. I want her to go uh, make a potent cure elixir if she's able to so that we have that on hand in case we need to use that. I'm just going to sell all this stuff. I think it's it's probably worth a lot. Damn. We need some wolf spain. Okay, so we cannot make that now. And Mr. Gianni looking tan. Yes, sir. I think he just got suntan from being out here. He was playing on the water slide. He's going to go into the shed, which is where his husband is, and he's going to play some chess on the computer. Um, there goes that money from the library. We're going to lose 15,000 more here in a second. And then Mr. Anibale, sir. I gave him this long hair, looking cool. Love the nose. <laughs> I talked about that in the last episode. Gabriella is over here at the consignment store. Things and things. <laughs> Okay, we can make the cure elixir. Oh yes, that party she was invited to. Where is that at? Did I exit out of it? Yeah, here it is, attend party. Let's go, Valentina. I do love these beautiful summer days here in Monta Vista. It is the greatest. Here we are. She's like, don't mind me parking the rolls over here. Oh, hey, Jamal's here. Yes, sir. He said, I can't believe them rumors. Well, thank you, sir. Can't believe them either. Oh, by the way, over here at this consignment store, I heard there's like a cool thing. What was it? Oh, yeah, I think it's this. There is this statue in the window, so it looks like someone's looking out of it. That is pretty creepy, actually. I love finding little things like that. It's so interesting. So since Gabriella just made those cure elixirs, should we just have her crash the party? Party and throw one of these at that Jamal guy. I think we should. I could just give it to Valentina and have her do it, but where's the fun in that? So she's gonna come over here. Look, folks are dancing. Oh my God, Caravaggio, are you seriously swimming in that dress? That is a vibe. And Gabriella is zooming through these streets. Well, I was going to say it's your lucky day, Jamal, but it looks like he's heading back to his house. Hey, should we go there? Visit the Whirly household with Gabriella. So Valentina and her auntie are going to go stalk this guy. Oh, wait, who's this lady? Karina. Valentina learned Jamal is rich. Damn, he got a whole ass family here. Jasmine, Susanna. What the hell? I wasn't expecting all these people to live here. This house is very strange. 
strange like the layout some rooms are completely separate that's so interesting let's talk to this lady here a bit there's jamal hey man it's 1 a.m we beat you here so gabriella let's throw that elixir now he has other fairy family gino interesting oh okay you're now a human man let's cast a charm on him too maybe a love charm i don't really know if he's the one for valentina oh he tried it that was sort of like a sketchy kiss i'm not sure if she was feeling it anyway we gotta go home it's late good morning it is a super busy monday here <laughs> unfortunately the guys claudio gianni and anibale got to bed super late as you can see their energy is in the red but they still went to school went to work i'm gonna have miss gabriella collect our investments so let's go down the list Gabriella's blessing Claudio with a uh, a potent bliss elixir, but sadly it does not fix his exhaustion. So he's gonna head straight to bed. I'm gonna have his husband do the same, as well as Anibale, who is sleeping on a bench. Okay, Anibale, go home, bud. Gabriella, we're 46 out of 50. We're almost there. Oh, the dance is at 6 p.m. Anibale, come get some coffee real quick before the dance, because we can't miss that. Since Camilla just completed that opportunity and she is in the town center, I'm going to have her go visit her husband. But I don't know. I guess we're going to see if they get along, if they're still upset with each other. She does still have the mood lit. But I don't know if they can move beyond this betrayal. I feel like they will come out stronger as a couple. But what do you all think? If you had just gotten married, if you had just had a child, would you forgive your partner if they cheated on you i don't know if there are many people who would but he's up here working out i'm gonna have camilla join him actually let's do a quick burst and then they can just socialize hang out for a bit and mr anibale is gonna go off to prom he's a bit late but that's fine maybe he'll get prom king i don't know <laughs> i'm not really expecting much prom king that was fast yes sir yes sir oh they're talking they're talking up here respond to question what's he asking her and what is she wearing and I oh that was out of nowhere. No, she didn't like it. That was so awkward. Why did he do that? Oh my God. Y'all, this ain't good. Let's try to have him try to calm her down. Maybe worry about relationship. I haven't seen that. I feel really bad for Camilla and I sort of feel like it's just a misunderstanding because I'm not really sure what even happened. Let's have him apologize. Maybe that'll get us somewhere. She, it looks like she's sort of accepting it. She does have seven hours left with this moodlet. She's definitely concerned, you know? She's worrying about the relationship. That did not go well either. I don't know. I sort of feel like we can't salvage this. Maybe we should just have him live up here for the remainder of his life. I don't know. But Camilla does own this house, or at least her family does. So she's going to hang out up here and maybe, maybe tomorrow she can bring her daughter to come visit. Sort of like a visitation kind of situation. I guess tomorrow we'll decide if they're actually going to get divorced. It just sucks. The fact that he went for that kiss autonomously has me shook. Holy crap. Does he like her on his end? No. I don't know why he would do that. That's so weird. Left China to come to Monte Vista, apparently to get divorced. I guess he will get a house out of it, which is nice, but damn. Cool. Ah, I didn't realize Gabriella was a five-star celeb. Okay, icon. Gabriella, we just got two more. Let's throw some of these at some other folks in the house. Oh, hey, look who it is. Miss Adora. It says, Camilla Moretti is apparently not interested in fixing this relationship. They're no longer romantic. They broke it off? I didn't tell her to do anything. I'm so confused. I didn't know they could do that autonomously. So they just got divorced on their own? <laughs> what? I had no clue that was possible. I was going to have them do that, so that's fine, but it's cool that they did it on their own. They don't have any negative moodlets either. That's so interesting. Well, folks, I guess it ended about as quickly as it began. Miss Camilla is no longer married. She's divorced. Um... Actually, their marriage lasted probably like two days. That's really sad, actually. Yo, Gianni just got promoted too. He made it to level 10. He's a world-renowned surgeon. Claudio and Gianni are like this amazing doctor duo. Naruto. And Claudio has a right home, and I think I'm gonna have Miss Gabriella come over here and throw one of these elixirs at Claudio, and this will be elixir number 50. She is about to complete that lifetime wish. Here she goes. Oh. 
Queen Gabriella. There we go. Valentina is over here at the club in her uh, in her chef's uniform. I don't know. I don't know if we have any chemistry at all with this guy, honestly. I mean, they're best friends and stuff, but I don't know if it's there. Do you know what I mean? Valentina cannot go from the Grim to this guy. It just doesn't make sense. Good morning. It is the next day. Claudio's over here at the resort. We're here because we're doing this random... It's like this huge branch of opportunities. And now we have to convince people to do things. And we met this guy, Xing Hong. Maybe we should get to know him and maybe he'll like Claudio's twin sister. I don't know. Today's actually a special day. It is Gabriella and Caravaggio's one year wedding anniversary. I think they should do a nice little woohoo to celebrate. Anniversary time, the moodlet says. They have a great relationship. Oh, sheesh. Awkward. <laughs> Camilla, you chose the wrong time to walk through there now. I didn't even tell Camilla to go do this, but she's going to head over here. Uh, I put the martial arts things over here on this side, so she's going to go break some blocks. She got a new belt last night, too. Very nice. Good morning. It's the next day, and it is Miss Alessandra's birthday. She is going to be a child today. I cannot believe it. So we'll have to have a little party tonight. We'll have to invite Shen over. Interested to see how that goes. The boys are at work. Anibale's at school. He's on a field trip, I guess. I think he's heading up there to the restaurant. Is there anyone in there besides you? This guy's here. Someone told me apparently the game assigns a random chaperone to go on the field trips. And this time it's this old guy who's being a bit of a creep with the way he's looking at Anibale sitting real close to. Um, Valentina, I would love to continue your story. How about we try going to the old matchmaker? Let's go with her and see if we have any luck. Entertain sick kids, sure. Word commercial. Entertain sick kids. Doing things, folks. We're doing things. For a nominal fee of 500 with the money back guarantee, we'll check our database for any potential matches. I didn't know they showed this whole list. What about this guy, Joshua McDonald? Let's go on a date to the Autumn Festival with this guy. Sounds like fun, meet you there. Okay, let's take a look-see. Not a bad looking guy at all. The fashions are definitely something. 33 days younger, damn. She thinks he's blindingly stunning. Not a babysitter, Joshua. Bruh. I love how they can talk about conspiracies. Let's invite him back to our house because we have to do a birthday party. So let's go back to Moretti Manor. Let's go ahead and plan that birthday party for the little one. Very excited. Get a cakey. Recently, I watched Alice in Borderland. Has anyone seen that? It's like a Japanese series on Netflix. Some people might compare it to Squid Game because it's about like people competing in games uh, in order to survive, basically. But it was really interesting. It was very... It got pretty dark at times, but overall, I liked it. I liked the recurring theme of just, you know, even when things are not going well at all, you have to have some hope and just persevere but if you did watch it let me know what was your favorite game i think the jail prison one was my favorite that was so cool i loved how it was like about the psychology of it all anyway alessandra birthday let's go hates the outdoors perceptive and neat we love that not a bad trait it's a bit hard to tell right now, but I am seeing, at least in the jaw area, I'm seeing a bit of Adora and Camilla. I like how we have Anibale and now Alessandra, who are sort of carrying on some of the features, characteristics of their particular lines of the family tree. And uh, and Mr. Shen did make it, if anyone was curious. He's here to see his daughter. Look at this butler. I love that mustache. Yes, sir. But anyway, he's here and he's going to go... Try to spend some quality time with his daughter. He hasn't really done much of that, so hopefully he can do that here tonight. Damn, they really do not get along. Okay, Shen, back to your house. <laughs> Sorry, but you're being exiled. What can I say? Okay, good morning. It is the next day, and I'm just thinking, screw it. I know I said we were going to focus on Valentina this episode, but there's just so much stuff happening with Camilla, and I feel really bad for her. And I really think this might be the perfect time for Camilla and Alessandra to go on vacation together. So I think I'm I'm going to have the two of them head off to China here today. As you can see, Camilla's at visa level one. 
we're like one and a quarter to visa level three so my goal is to get to visa level three buy a house in china so that we actually have a place to go back to we have quite a bit of money saved up i just collected resort profits i just feel really bad about what's happening with camilla it's already autumn five days till winter can't believe it big v's really churning out that nectar we love it i think i might actually wait until tonight before camilla and alessandra head off on vacation because i want valentina to get that promotion in excited for that she is gonna be level nine and so that means we'll have one more level before she completes her lifetime wish very good that means here shortly valentina and camilla are gonna be completing their lifetime wishes this one here is back home i love how he's sitting here and on the wall is a picture of his this is isabella what the hell is she to him i think that's his great grandmother is that right yeah maria is his grandmother so isabella is his great grandmother look at that who knew this really is a legacy he's just six days away from aging up which is wild and then miss alessandra is just finishing up ballet i didn't change her clothes at all yet i to do that before we go to china can't have her look in a mess at the airport and stuff actually why would anyone dress up to go sit on a plane for hours maybe if you have like a business meeting on the other end i get that or something for your job or you're meeting someone important if i'm going to be stuck on a plane for hours i'm wearing what alessandra's wearing for sure but she's taking her bike up the hill <laughs> Later tonight, her mom ain't told her yet, but she's going to China, her first trip abroad. It's actually funny because the way this legacy has worked out, we haven't usually had kids go with us on vacation. Because we take our annual trip to France at the end of the season, and our season ends when the new generation's born, and babies and toddlers obviously can't come on vacation. So this is going to be the first time we have a child going on vacation. Our ladies Caravaggio and Gabriella are out here playing some catch. Oh, and Claudio got to level 9, science. We're almost there. Here shortly, all of our Gen 5 are going to be completing their lifetime wishes, at least the biological Gen 5. We got things queued up. Folks are doing things. Alessandra is going to make the long journey back to the house. Here in about an hour, Miss Valentina will be finishing up work, and it looks like she will get a promotion. Real happy for her. Things are going real good. There we go. Valentina pulling through with the big p okay so she has been promoted to chef de cuisine but anyway she's almost there i'm so excited for her she only works i guess in this level she only works three days a week valentina is going to pay the bills and then we're going to head off folks before we leave casually selling all of these things in our inventory so i'll see you on the other side of the world in china hey 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 look at these two mother and daughter in china now that i'm thinking about it did we do shen dirty should we have brought him here to china with us it is his country but camilla let's have you get straight to work uh doing visa stuff oh my god not a boat taxi <laughs> just to cross this little stream i love it okay dragon head like a whole thing in there. I love how Camilla just left her daughter with a bunch of strangers over at the base camp. You all actually know this though, if you watch my videos. I do not like playing with children at all. I don't care about babies, toddlers, children. With teenagers, sometimes I feel like we're getting there where it's interesting to me to play with them, but for the most part, I do not care. That's probably not what you'd expect from someone who likes playing big legacies, but I feel like whenever I get to the adult stage, I can actually get started, you know? Like working towards something, having a storyline and stuff. Look at all these damn coins. I'm like Mario collecting these coins. There has to be a secret door in here, right? Literally there. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Where, where am I? Wait, should I take this stuff? I feel like it's a trap. She got messed up in that one. She's like, I hit the jackpot. Yes, can we take this? Oh my god, I love it. The Zodiac Animals Collection. I think we have one of these. Now we have another one to add, yes. I like how they have collectibles. I think that's so cool. Okay, man, you best be happy with what we did. Good morning and goodbye to Alessandra. We're leaving off to do quest things. We came back and he's he's naked in his skivvies this time. Deliver a relic to Liao. Okay, we're 3% to visa level three. We're getting there, so we have visa level two now. Let's do some shopping. My favorite thing to do on vacation. Shen's house. This is where he lived with his brother. Sad time. 
times. Good morning and goodbye, Alessandra. It's the next day. We have another opportunity to spar with the Sim. Do a quest and improve the martial arts at the same time? Absolutely. So we're up here at this guy's house. Hope you don't mind us coming in. This is cool. You got a little gate and stuff. Hey, ma'am, I'm here to fight you. Is that you? Abi Yet Shen. That's not you. Abi, where are you at? It's a big house. Oh no, you are Abi. It was you! My inner sexism showing. I assumed it was a guy. But why would I do that? Camilla's a woman. She's out here sparring too. Get to know each other better. Okay. Maybe the end of Camilla's arc is her just marrying some elder woman. <laughs> They're the same level, I think. Hey, it's gonna be a tough one. Oh my god. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. If we win this, this will be the first spar that Camilla has won. She was losing left and right to Shen. We lost 2-0. That was <laughs> that was bad. I feel like we deserve to win. Is that arrogant? Camilla's practiced a ton. I feel like we have to win at least once. That was closer, actually. It was 2-1. Report to Li Yao. We tried. These folks are tough. Attain level 5 of martial arts, then meditate at the Scholar's Garden for 2 hours, and it got us to level 9. Let's show off our new belt. What you got, Camilla? A ho, a black belt. So what's level 10? I love how we just take this limousine, you know, all over. Hey, Alessandra, I can see that you are desperate for a social interaction. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you go visit your uncle. Yes, you have family here in China. Zansu, your uncle, lives here just down the road. So we'll go visit him, say hello. Hopefully he does not mind. It would be cool if they knew things, you know what I mean? He's like, hello there, small child. And she does recognize that that's her uncle. That's so cool. I did make a YouTube short where I briefly mentioned this, but Alessandra has inherited the can salute trait from her mother, which originally came from her grandmother. She got it, can salute. She didn't get any Chinese culture trait, unfortunately. There is a hidden trait for each of the destination worlds, but we didn't get that, sadly. But we did get this one, and I'm happy with that. She has curfew, so she's heading back to base camp. Camilla, it is time to hopefully max out our visa. We're actually staying for eight days, so it's not six. So we're not under a ton of pressure, but I would like to go ahead and do it. Oh my god, wouldn't it be so cool if you actually had to fight someone? Like you had to spar some guy or some monster dude in order to get through the next door? That would be so cool. Hipping it and doing it. She ain't feeling too hot, so we're gonna plop down a tent. Okay, uncle, he loves us. Ah! Oh, f damn. This place is full of them. Yo. She could actually die here. Here's the things, yes. Finally. In the Chinese gnome. Heck yeah. Going to deliver the writings. The writings of what? Nobody knows, because we can't read it. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff that we did for you, so I would like more. 36% to visa level 3. Oh my god, this is taking a while too. Okay, y'all, it's the next morning. I'm tired of this base camp. Everything is breaking. Showers are broken. Toilets are clogged. We don't have time for any of this. So we're going to quickly take care of our needs, and then we have to head out because today is day 7 out of 8. That means we go home tomorrow, and we're 50% to visa to level three. I think we can do it, fingers crossed. And she is the moment. This lady knew she had to wear her walking shoes, but she did not want to compromise on the rest of her look. She went for it. I have to applaud her for that. Now, come on now. <laughs> hey, man, what's good? Oh, another one of these. Yes, I'm glad I checked. So now we have the snake, which is part of the Zodiac Animals collection. I'm a monkey. What's your Chinese Zodiac? Let me know down below. Get this view, too. Damn. Hey, you look troubled. Oh, we have to get friendlier. Okay, so how close are we? 90% to Visa level 3. Y'all, I think this is our last one. Yes, we got it. Visa level 3. In the morning, we're going to go shopping for our first vacation home in China. Good morning. Let's see how far our money takes us. Y'all, I think this is the one. 140,000. Let's go, baby. Okay, Palace, look at this. The location is beautiful, but I think I might also buy a house down here in the city center. So let's take a look inside of this place. Okay, a huge kitchen, a gigantic dining room. Okay, this is like a hotel lobby, damn. 
and one two three four bedrooms that's pretty good and there is a whole upstairs as well i'm not going to do any work to this on this vacation but this is definitely big enough to do a family vacation and look at the backyard there's a nice pond this is so cool camilla you did it alessandra's uncle loves her he's like calling every day <laughs> But I'm real proud of Camilla. It was it was a journey, but we did it. And it was a nice distraction from all the drama that's happening in her personal life. But really quickly, I do want to see how much those houses are in the town center. Not that I don't love this one. It's just sort of out of the way, as you can see. How much are these? Oh, these are not much at all. Let's go ahead and get this place too. Why not? It was 80,000, which is sort of pricey. But we came here with 260. We had quite a bit saved up and we're getting returns when we get back to Monta Vista, so I think we're good to go. The one inconvenient thing, you have to run all the way down this trail. Uh, so it'd be nice to have a house in the city center just for convenience, although that is a beautiful little sanctuary. And here's house number two. Okay, so vacation's ending soon. Camilla and Alessandra are gonna go pack up their suitcases and head to the airport. And I'll see you all back in Monta Vista. Okay, folks, we're back home. Very busy episode, a lot of drama. Went to China and back, bought some houses. Please leave your comments and suggestions down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.